Gladys, you are stunning tonight. Thank you. Did you choose your open dress? I did. I actually bought another one and it didn't come in on time, so this was my backup dress. But I feel like there's a Desperate Housewives quote by Eva Longoria that like, she knew red was her color. <laughs> I feel like I kind of know red my color. is my color too. Was it your favorite show, The Desperate Housewives? Desperate Housewives, I actually didn't watch much TV growing up, but I did used to watch it with my best friend when I would sleep over at her place. So that was actually one of the first few shows that I started watching. And you are an actress, am yes, I right? I am. Okay. So can you ta talk, about, talk about a little bit your career and uh, the project what you are working right now? Yes, so I actually just came out in Selena, the Netflix series about Selena Quintanilla's life. Um, I play A.B. Quintanilla's wife in there, so... It's really exciting. It was really nice to work on it because Selena Quintanilla as a Mexican actress is like a huge part of the Mexican culture. Her story is beautiful yet tragic. Um, she was such an amazing person. Everyone who she met was like, she just like shined like the sun and was such a beautiful human being. Um, so that was a dream come true. And I am coming out in a TNT series that has not been released yet. It keeps getting pushed back because of COVID. Um, so hopefully that will be out end of this year. Um, it's called Claws. I won't say anything else, but it's Claws on TNT. I'll be guest starring in that. And uh, we know that, that in Hollywood, uh, Mexican uh, artists, Latinas are underrepresented. What do you think about this? I actually wore a mask that has the LA sign with the Mexican flag because I feel like we're so underrepresented. Um, but I think if we can just all like use our voices and just I guess support films like In the Heights, you know, where it's mostly Latino actors that come out and actually go and support it, I think we'll find more and more opportunities for Mexican Latino actresses and actors. So you're seeing that, seeing that, that it's uh, getting better in the business right now? I think we still have a long way to go, but I think it's definitely better than a few years back. Yeah, that's a good news, and thank you for stopping by. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.